What's up you guys? Today we have a European vacation, summer to fall, pack with me video. I know you guys love these pack with me videos so, so much, but I'm gonna switch things up on you guys today. I don't wanna keep things too stale around here. If you guys caught my last pack with me summer vacation video, I went really, really in depth on all of the products that I'll be reusing in today's video. I noticed a lot of comments telling me that you guys wanted to see the actual clothing on me to showcase the capsule, to see all the outfit ideas that you can get out of the things I packed in this suitcase. So I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the fashion today. If you guys want the fullest scope, please be sure to watch that last video. I'll link it for you guys right here and down below. Everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description box, including the products and the clothing. And a lot of the clothing in today's video is gonna be from today's sponsor, Love Benito. I am so excited. It's one of my favorite clothing brands. Gorgeous designs, minimal, timeless, petite friendly. I'm gonna show you guys all the fabulous pieces and the dozens of outfit ideas that I created out of today's pack with me. And I also have a promo code code for the Miss Louie fam, valid from now until September 30th. You can save up to 10% off your order. I'll include all the details down below in the description box. Last few notes before we get started, this is the first time I'm traveling internationally in like two years. The last time I traveled was to Paris in February 2020 before COVID broke out. I'm a little bit rusty, so please bear with me. And I also wanted to preface that even though I always do like a capsule wardrobe type of packing list, that when I go to Europe, I know myself, I'm definitely gonna be shopping. I definitely wanna be bringing trash keys home, especially for my son. So this is not meant to be a super minimalist, like backpacking pack with me video. I just wanted to be straight up so that expectations are matched. I am a fashion vlogger. I love taking pictures. I love changing outfits. Take whatever you need out of my videos, customize it to your needs and the length of your vacation and leave the rest. So if you guys have not been following your girl, be sure to follow me at at Miss EJ Louie on Instagram and also my like to know it feed. That is where I post my exclusive content and all the alphas before they go live on all my other channels. So I would love for you guys to join my community over on those places. I love you guys so much. And on that note, let's get started. Starting off with the trip details. This is a 16 day trip spread out amongst three different countries, Italy, Spain, and Portugal. As I mentioned, I'm not a minimalist when it comes to Europe. I like to really enjoy myself and take some things home. So for the check-in bag that I'll be bringing, I'll be using the base 29 inch large roller suitcase in the nice nude beige color. This is the first time I'll be using this bag in particular, but I have used the carry-on in the medium size and have absolutely loved it. For my carry-on pieces, I will be taking the Bay's Weekender bag. This is the original size, and what I really like about it is that it has a separate zippered compartment on the bottom so that I can pack my shoes, etc. I don't even want to say this out loud. There has been several times where my checked-in bag did not make it when I landed in Europe. So I'm gonna learn my lesson and make sure that I have this duffel pack with a couple of different outfit options and backup shoes in case Mr. Big Roller Bag comes in delayed and I won't be stuck wearing the same stinky clothes on a plane for multiple days. <laughs> so I'm gonna separate a few things in this bad boy. This is kind of like my carry-on item. And then for the personal item, I'll be using the Bay's backpack. Also the first time I'll be breaking this puppy in. I really like the fact that there's faux leather bottoms. I think it's gonna be nice for rugged travel. Also in Italy, I'll be going to islands. So I'm hoping that these things will survive very well. So let's go ahead and break into the big bag and start off with the clothing. The bulk of today's items is from today's sponsor, Love Benito. One of my favorite clothing brands, hands down. I've actually done two other collaborations with them. I'll link both of those videos down below for you guys because they include some of their best sellers. If you guys have never heard of Love Benito, it is a Singaporean brand that specializes in not only gorgeously timeless, minimalist, simple, well-made clothing, but it is a fabulous resource for all my petites. It's made with like the Asian fit in mind and the pricing and the value is honestly incredible. I love all these pieces, not only for casual wear, more formal occasions, and especially work wear. You can definitely find amazing staples across the board. Be sure to take advantage of our promo code to save 10% off your next order with a minimum of $130 until the end of September. Let me show you guys some new pieces that I'm featuring specifically in this pack with me. First up, we have two different matching sets that I think not only look so great by themselves, but also intermixed together. For a classic white combo, we have the Adelaide Brodery Puff Sleeve Top matched with the Adelaide Brodery Skirt. 
classic clean white with delicate eyelet detail. The top has a zipper in the back, puff sleeves, and that 360 ruffle on the front and the back of the top. And then what I really love about Love Benito is the skirts are a really great length. They're not too short, they're not too long. With a flattering A-line shape, a clean hidden zipper, pockets on both sides, high-waisted, and also lined underneath with some shorts lining. Then for a pop of fun color and pattern, we have the Bertia striped tiered skirt matched with the Bertia padded twist front striped top. This is such a fun combo because it kind of looks like an elegant maxi or midi summer dress. Now one of the best features of a lot of the Love Benito tops is it comes with integrated padding. Don't need to worry about a bra. This is substantial, super comfortable padding that they incorporate in a lot of their padded tops where you can literally throw it on and walk out of the door in ultimate comfort. And especially with this top in particular because the straps are so thin, you've got that nice organic twist in the front for some detail, a subtle zipper on the side, and a really clean crop top fit. Then for the skirt, this one is just so lively and fun. You have a nice high waist, pockets on each side, which by the way, love that so many other bottoms comes with pockets, and then a beautifully high volume cascading tiered skirt that gives you so much flow and attitude, and I just think this is a great summer combo that you can extend into the fall. Next two items are gonna be a jumpsuit and a romper. These are great one piece, one and done items. I love that they both look really great with heels and also with tennis shoes. For the warm weather option, we have the Wanda tailored wrap romper. I love the elegance in this romper, not only for the blue color, but also the style. The front looks like a faux wrap front blouse tucked into an elegant wrap front skirt. Love the extra voluminous sleeves with the tight cuffs to really accentuate the volume. You have a collar at the top to just dress it up. And the bottom features a delicate tie to tie off that front wrap. And again, the length is just a perfect mini, but not too short length with pockets on both sides, baby. Then for something higher coverage and utilitarian and very relaxed, we have the Yavana patch pocket jogger jumpsuit. This one is so cool because it kind of looks like cargo jogger on the bottom and then a very oversized blouse on the top. You have kind of like elongated short sleeves, a drop shoulder, those front pockets, and then an oversized lapel. There is an elasticized backing on the waistline and the back. You have pockets on each side and everything is accentuated with those elasticized cuffs at the bottom of the pants. Then we have the Amani polka dot straight leg pants. I actually have them in both black and ivory because I am so obsessed with these pants. I think they're so Euro chic, you have a delicate polka dot pattern, a silky finish to this material, and then you have a hidden delicate zipper on the side, along with of course pockets on both of these pants. These are just core staple delicate elegant pants that you can dress up or dress down. The neutral color will match with so many of your basic tops, and I am pairing it with the Aricia knit crop top. This is a knit tank top with really great elegant ribbing on the front extra thick straps and a secured neckline to accentuate the square neckline of this top. Next, I have the Jillia crop camisole. This is one of my favorite basics for the summertime. It's $22. I have it in three different colors. This is a super thick fitted crop top that's perfect for short torsos out there like mine. I love the super skinny minimalist straps and it just serves as the perfect base layer to give you a little bit of sliver of skin between the top and your high-waisted bottoms. I love it. Then of course, we need a little bit of denim in every single capsule wardrobe. I have the Brillin denim mom jeans. This has got a nod to the 80s with the acid wash, the high waist, the mom jean style with those tapered legs. Overall, just everything fits so well for petite bodies. The high waisted is perfect. It's nice and loose in the butt for comfort, but overall I'm not losing my shape and it's just perfectly proportioned in terms of the length too. Then next I have the Olam ribbed knit midi dress. I love a stretchy sweater knit type of dress whenever I'm traveling because you can definitely dress it up for dinner or wear it casually with tennis shoes during the day or even travel in it. And it's a one and done outfit. And what I really love about this one, it almost looks like a professional sheath dress. It has a slight slit in the front and also a matching belt that's secured to the actual dress. So you don't have to lose anything. It's all integrated, very minimalist and gorgeous in this nude color. And finally, to fully round out this capsule wardrobe, I grabbed a few things from my closet. These are older pieces. I have a basic lightweight 
button down white shirt. I love this just for tying up as a cropped loose blouse. You can wear it open like a comfy lightweight overshirt or you can wear it of course tucked in and buttoned up for a tailored look. I then have a basic black boyfriend blazer. This is just the perfect piece of outerwear to bring for a European vacation because it is so polished. It looks so dressy and put together when you throw it on denim or you throw it on your trousers. You can easily take it to a fancier restaurant or dinner but it also just looks so street style and cool. Lastly, I also have a casual denim jacket. This is probably something I'd wear throughout the airport for casual days. This is a nice summery throw on that also matches with everything and really coincides well with the other denim jeans. So those are our 15 core clothing pieces and I'm going to show you guys now all the different outfit combinations you can create with those pieces being packed in your suitcase. All right, so on that note, let's go ahead and pack our suitcase and carry on bags. For the clothing, I'm going to be using the base packing cubes. If you guys want more details on the actual packing cubes, be sure to watch my last video. I'm gonna grab the large size and the smallest size and separate the clothes between what's gonna be thrown into the checked in suitcase and what I'm gonna carry on the plane with me and the weekender as backup outfits in case something happens to the suitcase. I really didn't have a specific idea on what I was gonna separate, but I mainly just chose more of the neutral items to carry on the weekender with me. I have the dress, jeans, the pair of pants, the two tank tops, and the button down. I can definitely get a lot of great outfits out of just those key pieces. I also realized as I was packing, I probably need a few more extra backup tops because considering I have a lot of bottoms. So I ended up adding three extra t-shirts in neutral colors into the small packing cube as a backup options. Moving on to undergarments and all the extra stuff that's not the core clothing, I added a sports bra, a pair of leggings, and biker shorts. Then I have a variety of different kind of pajamas or loungewear, some bralettes with boxers, with some tank tops and shorts, t-shirts and shorts. These are kind of like my rolling cute sleepwear throughout the trip. I have a variety of bras, a comfortable stretch bralette, a t-shirt bra, a plunge bra, a strapless bra. I also have a separate Separated packing cube from a different company where I loaded in all of my array of neutral nude underwear. And lastly, I have a couple of swimsuits, a bright color, black, white for the classic options. I put all of these items into the medium sized base packing cube. It fits so nicely. And again, I love having that separator for my underwear so they're not flying all over the place. Moving on to like accessories, we have shoes and bags. I have four pairs of shoes I'm bringing. I normally love a pair of plain white classic sneakers for heavy walking walking days and also traveling in the airport. A pair of flat sandals. These are extra sexy with that thick platform. I'm obsessed with these leather sandals, by the way. And then I have two pairs of chunky heeled mules. I've got the darker brown cognac braided one and then a lucite clear one that really matches with so many different outfits. Nearly all the outfits. <laughs> so then for handbags, which I believe I forgot in the last video, so I'm so sorry, but for this one that you saw in the capsule, I have both a brown and a black handbag. Both of them have crossbody, comfortable, strap options. They cover all your bases between the light warm and darker colors in this capsule. I put these into two different bag covers from previous purchases and then I put the shoes into the Bay's shoe bags. I need another one because I love these so much. The clear panel makes it so easy to see what you got. I'm going to be wearing the tennis shoes in the airport and then I just brought an extra like Amazon shoe bag into the mix here and then I'll separate the shoes between the weekender and the suitcase in a little bit. 
bit. Moving on to toiletries, I'm gonna go ahead and do my same favorite truffle case, the Clarity Jet Set case. This has all of like the non-liquid makeup in here. And then for my core toiletries, I'm gonna switch it up and use this really cool hanging bag that I got, very affordable off Amazon. I'm gonna be splitting the room with a roommate or with my friend. I'm just trying to be really conscientious of counter space. So having something that you can suspend on a hook and have access to all the things I think would be just a cleaner, less messy experience. So this one is really souped up. It rolls out to a very long tower of storage, which we love. At the very top, there's narrow compartments for my Q-tips, my facial rounds. I also threw in a little mini nail kit and tweezers. Below that, I did my skincare. Honestly, you guys, a lot of my serums and moisturizers came in a very compact, lightweight packaging. So I just threw the full size in there. I only dispensed things in my Cadence capsules that made sense where the container was enormous. So here I have a nice balance of everything I need for the face. Below that, I have more of the bulkier items. I have my shampoo and conditioner bar. I have body wash, my razor, hair products. I tried to use the two main compartments to separate face from body items. And then below that, I have the little narrow mesh pocket for toothpaste, floss. And then below that, this is actually a zip off compartment if you don't need it, but I just threw some hydrocortisone, neosporin, and band-aids. And then on the back, there's another compartment, you guys, where you can put your makeup and it has a whole brush elasticized panel to put your things in. So I actually loaded my brushes up in here. I put two sponges into that shallow area. And then of course you guys saw, I put my makeup in the Clarity Jet Set case from Truffle because I do have too much to fit in this back area. When everything is rolled up, it's a nice little mini trunk of all the toiletries. I'm excited to use this for the first time. I haven't used something like this in a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and start loading the large suitcase. Again, I wanted extra room in here because I know I'm gonna be buying stuff. So please be cognizant of that. I loaded in the large packing cube that has the majority of the bulky clothes in the back. Then I loaded in the medium sized packing cube that has all of the undies, the workout, the swimsuits, the panties, that all goes in there. Then I took the one pair of shoes. These are the braided heels, loaded them in that last little section. And then on the other side of the suitcase, I opened the divider flap. Here I have my two handbags loaded in their kind of like purse dust covers to protect them. And then my big honking roll out toiletry bag. Next up, I loaded in my hats. These are like foldable, packable, collapsible hats. And what I have here as the accessory is this really cool keychain that actually secures your hat to your handbag or your tote bag. So genius for on the go storage of your big old sun hat. I'm gonna load these two in here on this side because I'm able to collapse it down. And the great thing about these base suitcases is like the organization is superb. You have these two divider pockets here. On one side, I actually loaded in my curling iron and my hair dryer. Even though this is a full size hair dryer, it is like one of the lightest hair dryers ever. And then on the other side, I have some dry and wet bags to separate dirty laundry, wet swimsuits, etc. And then honestly, I'm just gonna leave this side practically open. This is like my space that I can mentally prepare for if I wanna bring anything home. I shouldn't go anything over this area. Let's go ahead and move to the Weekender. This Weekender has the coolest bottom that's double secured with that faux leather finish and it's very structured. Here I'm going to load in the sandals along with the clear loose side mules for extra versatility and then I'm going to load in that small packing cube that has all those extra clothes in there and again I added three extra t-shirts because I realized that this capsule is a little unbalanced and it needed a couple more tops because we sweat, we get stinky, we need backups and lastly I loaded in my socks. Then in Inside the interior compartment, I have this very organized actually. I have these really cool Amazon affordable clear pouches where I separate things like my body and face wipes from my antibacterial wipes. I have another one that has my sunglasses. I've been really into big sunglasses. So here I have like prescription reading ones along with my glamorous ones. Then I have my handy dandy clarity pouch in the large size from Truffle. This is one of my favorite ones because the volume is so large. Here's where I just cram all of like my medicine, my hair ties, my hair cloths, my hair powder, my sleep 
sleep mask, like anything that I need for comfort on the plane and you know, essentials. I can just cram it in here. I see it all, it fits it all. I just really love this one. And then I also have my Clarity Jet Set case with my makeup because if my suitcase gets lost, girl, I'm gonna be mad if I don't got my makeup on me. So everything is clear and beautifully organized inside the interior of the Weekender. And then here is where I just throw whatever jacket or scarf I need for the plane. Let's go ahead and move on to the base backpack. So the back interior, of course, is gonna go my 16 inch laptop, which fits very comfortably. I also have my iPad in there where I like to sketch and do stuff with my Apple Pencil. And then into the interior, you can actually put a lot of clothing in here. They have these compression straps, but I'm just literally using it for main storage. I have another Truffle Tech case that has a lot of my big bulky cords. I have one of the affordable Amazon clear cases for my smaller cords and my earbuds and headphones. And then I also have a book and my vlogging camera on a tripod. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna just keep it fast and loose with the camera. I'm just gonna keep it either in the weekend or in my backpack so I have full access and document as much as I can along the way. In the interior of this main capacity of the bag, there are two hidden pockets that are so great for security. I'm gonna probably put my wallet, documents, passport, etc., into these two pockets. Here is where I'm gonna put the carry-on liquids. I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. I have been yelled at plenty of times by European airports for putting all my stuff in a fancy schmancy container and it just depends on the person and what airport you're going through. I want a stress-free zone, so I just put everything in a quart size Ziploc bag. And then on the exterior front pocket, it's actually a really good size. Here's where I'll throw in my small tech cord bag, along with two different smaller pencil cases. This one I have all of my colors, color pencils, highlighters, anything for coloring the sketchbook. And then the second one is my nicer truffle Safiano leather one that has more of my pens, SD cards, adapters. Everything fits so nicely into this front space. All right, guys, that does it for my Pack With Me European vacation video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this version. Let me know which one you guys like more in the comments. Do you guys like the travel product focus, the clothing focus? Do you want me to just make a souped up one that has everything in it? Like, tell your girl because I have a lot of travel planned in the future and I love being able to make these videos for you guys to help on your guys' trips to come. As always, everything mentioned in today's video is down below in the description box. And if you guys are interested in any of my Love Benito items, I of course have those down there and hope you guys enjoyed a lot of those stylings. So again, follow me at Miss EJ Louie on my Instagram. I'd like to know a feed if you guys want to join me on my travels and you guys are the bomb. I love you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!